This is the all new Squala Back Eddy Waiter. Just out today and I've got a set. I have been so happy uh, with my other two sets of Squala Waiters that uh, I wanted to test a set of these. These have literally launched today and we're already getting questions about them. So here we go, let's take a look right out of the package. So I love the color, uh, it's kind of a cool color. It's officially called gravel, uh, but I would have called it like buckskin. I'm gonna call it buckskin. So this is my buckskin set of waders right here. Now, uh, my other Squala waders, I have tested the carbon and the RS waders, and no doubt if you're shopping for waders and you're watching this review, you're probably familiar with those. You've been eyeballing uh, all of them. I can tell you already, this is a much heavier wader uh, than the Squala carbon. The Squala Carbon uh, is an ultra light waiter, uh, super high breathability, very packable. Uh, the only downside of the Carbon is, um, in theory, it would be a little bit less durable, and it doesn't, it's not designed to allow for a lot of layering. So here we are, Squala Back Eddy Waiter. I like to cut, I like to cut. Dude, you can do some serious stuff in these. There's no more climbing over fences. I'm just gonna hurdle over them in these waders. Uh, the four-shet leg design does allow for, waders don't stretch a lot. There's a little bit of give in the material, so it's really critical that however your waders fit, you have to be able to step up into boats and up on rocks and hike. And to me, the Squala Cut feels a lot more like my hiking or my mountaineering pants than it does a wader that restricts movement. Now, one thing about getting Squala waders on that are not zippered, they have one model that's a zipper called the RS, is they are a little bit tighter just to get on, but once they're on, your freedom of movement is really, really good. So I think a lot of people try them on and they go, oh, they're too small. Well, you gotta get in there and get them on to appreciate that they didn't leave a ton of excess material in these waders, which keeps you kind of light and tight. So. Let's go into a couple of the features. Uh, the pockets uh, right here, what would be considered your hand warmer pockets, uh, they're minimalistic. Uh, to me, there is no fleece lining, but I can get my hand right against my body, uh, which is really nice. And I can say, hey, what's up? I can actually pass through. So if I put something in my left pocket, I can also get to it uh, on my right. If you've ever been frustrated about which pocket you left something in, a zipper would, would segregate those and I might go, oh, I didn't leave it in there. Then I gotta mess around and go in from the other side. So I could see that, how some people might like that. And cost savings on not having that waterproof zipper. Uh, the back Eddie waiter comes in at 699, so it's less expensive than its zippered cousin. A little shallow kangaroo pocket in the front. Put some floating or some little tools in there. And then there is a stretch pocket uh, right here. In fact, I'll just open this up. There's a stretch pocket in the front, which will hold a great big iPhone 13 Max. I'm fishing. I'm probably gonna put that guy right in there. And let's do a little test. So I can lean forward. I could go down and net a fish. And it would take quite a bit for that phone to slide out of there. So I'm feeling pretty comfortable about keeping my phone in there. And uh, on the shoulder straps here, there is a couple of different settings. So I'm shoving mine all the way down like so, and then pulling it back up. And I kind of like that shortest uh, setting right there. The waiting belt is secured in several spots. I've got a loop on the back, two loops on the side. I've said this on waiter reviews before. Uh, people lose waiting belts all the time. This one, when I unclip it, is gonna stay put uh, pretty well, just like that. And then there's a couple of different settings on the waiting belt. I need mine a little bit higher, but I can't drop that waiting belt location uh, down one notch right there. And then I've got my other stretch pocket on the outside, much uh, same pocket design they use on their hoodie, their uh, sole technical hoodie, tactical hoodie. Uh, we really like those pockets, and so it's nice to see Squala run with that really popular design they have uh, on some of their hoodies. So I really have uh, enjoyed these gravel guards uh, that Squala has right here. They're very clean. I don't get cockaburs, thorns, thistles, and stuff, junk, junk stuck to my, uh, my gator. The other thing, and I think this really helps the movement 
uh, of the wader is the gravel guard's actually attached way up here. So the gravel guard moves, or my leg moves independently of the gravel guard. It's, uh, it's just a really nice loose gaiter. And I personally, I don't even attach them. They have an attachment right here to go to your wading boots. I don't like it attached because I get a little bit more freedom of movement uh, when it's not tied in. So that's just, that's my opinion and how I do it. The other thing this wader has is it has a removable uh, knee pad right here. And just so you understand for construction, the waterproof breathable material is behind the knee pad. So you can kneel down on a gravel bar, uh, maybe you're changing a trailer tire. But what I like about the knee pad is uh, when I take a picture of a fish or I net a fish, I often will kneel down in the water so I can handle that fish really well. The other thing is I'm going to be fishing a bunch of spring creeks this next week and field testing these waders uh, on a seven day fly fishing trip where I'm totally immersed. And I'm going to be stocking up spring creeks and I will guarantee you some of my stocks are going to involve me casting from a kneeling position and it's really comfortable uh, even on this hard floor in here. But also it's nice to know I can kneel down and I'm not going to damage the integrity of the waterproof breathable material. So in conclusion, uh, initial impressions are great. I've been bone dry in my other sets of Squala waders. I've had zero issues whatsoever. The, the Backity wader is available in 15 different size configurations. Uh, so when Squala initially launched some of their wader series, they didn't have that big variety. But in the Backity wader, they have 15 different sizes. So I will guarantee we can find a size uh, that fits you in the Squala Backity wader.